good morning and well done for getting this far into the video now I'm sure that many of you are saying what on earth is she going on about the video's only just started So anyway, the point is, we know what you'll watch, we know what you won't watch. We know there's a certain subject that when we bring it up, you just won't watch it. And it's a pity really, because it's an important subject. And it's something that we here are personally concerned about a lot because of the sailing we do. And we've been looking into it. And what I can say is, of all the methods we've looked into, one of them worked. Only one. Um, it's something you might want to think about, even if you are too scared to watch the rest of the video. Because the rest looks a bit like this. Handy hands. Now, I can assure you that everything was alright. Uh, these things were filmed back in September when I'm glad to say the water was a bit warmer than it is now. Now, if you went into the water at this time of year, you'd probably be facing cold shock, which wouldn't be good. Um, I'll let Gaynor explain it in her own words. Ah. <laughs> oh, days. Well, you might be wondering why I'm in this uh, garb. Um, it's because Beverly and I have come to Ballyhome Bay because I want to be completely daft and jump in but more importantly I want to be able to try lots of different methods of being able to get out afterwards rather you than me I know well you've done your swimming this year so uh, this will be my swim for the year oh your madness off you go <laughs> yeah I do feel like I'm completely mad but um the first method I'm going to try and get out of the water with is um, I have a rope from a cleat at the front. Uh, I've then brought it round and then it's going through um, a cleat in the middle and then it's going out to the winch at the back. And because the rope is too uh, large, I've just got a round turn and uh, a half hitch uh, because unfortunately the rope I'm using is not right for the winch. But it's, I need a long rope. Uh, to do it but yeah I've been told I heard that you can come out with just using a rope no idea if it's going to work but that's what we're here to find out so your moment of glory approaches does it yeah I'm not looking forward to this but uh, I'm the mad idiot who wants to do it uh, a pair of gloves probably be a good idea um, right well I'll get a pair no, of gloves I'll, I'll get you gloves I'm just um, and the other thing I've done is I've put a fender step um, near the rope so that I'm hoping that between, I'll be able to pull myself up with the fender step. Um, yeah. Have you got the swim ladder down? I've got the swim ladder down so that at least I can get in and out. And I've also got the dinghy uh, down because it all goes. That's your safety boat. That's my safety boat. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not going to go badly, but you never know. Right, I'm ready to record your screens. Yeah, I know. Good luck. I'll need it. <laughs> Is it warmer than Scotland was? Don't swear, I swore. Swear, go on, swear. <laughs> Just like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> swear for YouTube, go on, do beep. it.
that was a method was a bust. I think if somebody had a lot more upper body strength, they might be able to do it. But I've got no upper body strength whatsoever. Um, I tried to do it with standing and I got a little bit of a way, but I just, I was trying to grab the shroud and I didn't get there far enough. So then I tried to sat straddle it and it got out of the water, but the, the rope just couldn't lift me up anymore. The winch was just, I'm too, right. on the I'm plus, too damn heavy. Yeah. On the plus side. Yeah. The swim ladder is a good way of getting out. Hey, that one's worked. The swim ladder gets me out every time, but that's not what we're trying to experiment with here. <laughs> Well, I think the simple answer is, there's no way in God's green earth. <laughs> I just look at her shoulder. <laughs> We discounted the coming up the stern. Uh, we know the stern ladder works. We know we can get in and out on the stern ladder. We've done that before, uh, like when we were in Glandor and I had to go into the boat to clear the prop. We know that works, but we also know that if there's any sort of swell, the back of the boat is going to be going up and down like a donkey and it is going to be one of them nodding donkey things, not the ones that just stand still and go eat all. But we know that the back of the boat is going to be going up and down and anybody at the back of the boat is in severe danger of getting whacked by the boat. So the other method that's been touted to us is pull them into the dinghy. Um, great idea, I can see why it would work, but once again, for somebody like me who's not overly strong in the upper body, pulling a waterlogged person in over the stern or over the side just wasn't possible. In the end, unless you've got lots of people on board, we find one method that works, and this is it. Some time ago, we constructed a rescue sling. It is a big triangle made from webbing straps, and it has a rope that attaches to a forward cleat, and another to a mid or aft cleat. The halyard is then attached to the tip of the triangle. The whole thing is then dumped overboard, and the casualty is floated into it. The advantage of this method is that the casualty can be unconscious. For the purposes of our exercise, Gainer simulated an unconscious casualty. We first tried using the sling as a ladder, but it was not really a success. And it also depends on the casualty being able to climb. Next we assumed a worst case scenario with an unconscious casualty and I moved Gainer into the sling using the boat hook. I then used the halyard winch to lift her up onto the boat. And with our particular setup, the sling rolled her onto the boat, which made things a lot easier. Well, I'm really glad I tried the um, sling that I made because I now know that I've actually got to put in some kind of battens or something like that just to keep its shape a little bit. Because the problem was, um, on, in, when it was in the water, it kind of like went into just um, more like a rope. But once we actually got it sorted and just tried to widen it out, I think it worked really well. So I was quite pleased with that. Um, the dinghy recovery, if, I have been told that you actually uh, deflate the um, the front um, section of the dinghy and bring them in on that way, but Beverly just wouldn't do it. But um, that didn't work. <sighs> the uh, rope, that was a complete and utter bust. Um, I think um, that it's supposed to be a method, but I think you've got to have a, a boat with a lower freeboard than us. 
for our boat it just was not working um but uh if nothing else i'm glad our our sling works and that's really what i wanted to practice falling overboard is i suppose one of the sailors nightmares and the recommended cure for it or whatever you want to call it don't fall off the boat is accurate but technically useless so we'll just skip over that i'm not going to sugarcoat this whole thing this exercise that we've just been through was conducted on a perfect day we had no wind we had no sea state we were one mile from marina and the rnli slip we had life jackets we had wetsuits we had an experienced sailor on board to give us a hand just in case things went wrong so it couldn't have got any better it couldn't have been any safer um, and yet a lot of the tried and tested things that were told by people um, failed for us. I think one of the reasons for a lot of the failures was circumstance. Every boat is different, every crew is different. Our boat, the crew just has got no upper body strength worth talking about. If you've got a crew full of strapping young men with big muscles, then maybe everything would be different. But that's not the crew that we have. So we tried the various methods and we found them all wanting. And the life sling is the method that works the best for us because it takes advantage of the boat's layout and the winches and things like that. And it's got some other advantages which I'm gonna go into. Somebody is bound to point out that one of the things we did not try was lifting people with halyard. We tried that some time back. We tried it in the marina. Um, we got ourselves into our gear. We put the life jackets on. We attached the halyards and we started winching. And it was a very, very painful experience. And we've since been told that it can break ribs, and I could well believe that. But uh, I've also been told that it can injure casualties even further. It is not recommended as a way to do it if you can avoid doing it, so we didn't even try it on this occasion. We just went straight for the other methods, and we went for the, the sling that Gainer made. Now, she also mentioned in the video that it needed some amendments, needed some battens adding to just make it sit better in the water and things like that. Those have since been added. And in case you're wondering about the red material, it's sacrificial. Its only purpose is to ensure that when the sling comes out of the bag, it does not tangle, that it comes out nice and cleanly and all the lines are ready to go straight onto the cleats and the top of the thing is ready to go straight onto the halyard. It literally takes two oxo knots and a clip from the halyard and it is ready to go, so it is quite quick. We are also in no doubt that in bad conditions, it would not be as easy to do. Uh, that it would probably be difficult still to get the casualty in but you can only do what you can when you practice you just use the best conditions you've got the stern ladder as we've already said we probably wouldn't recommend uh, unless it's a calm day because the back and the back of the boat going up and down would just injure the casualty person and that's because of course assuming that they're able to climb out which is something all the other methods also assumed that the casualty is able to climb or pull themselves out or whatever the life sling we feel has the advantage that it doesn't matter about the casualty, their abilities or their state. And it's easy for the person on the boat. And more importantly for us, it's easy for us too. So that's the way it is. We're going to leave it there. It'll probably generate a lot of heat and comments. These things usually do. And I just want to take a brief moment to say thank you to Vivian, our sailing friend, who's got more experience than Gainer and I added together, for being with us on the day. It was great to have super duper experienced crew like her aboard. So we'll leave it there. Comments and questions, put them down below and stay safe when you're out there.